Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, the big three. Considered by many as the greatest players of all time, their combined reign at number one is close to a staggering 900 weeks. 62 of the past 74 slams have been won by them, completely setting themselves apart from the competition, with only Murray and Ravrinka winning multiple slams during this time. Federer, now 41 and without a slam in nearly five years, has meant Nadal and Djokovic left to defend their crowns against hungry competitors. In 2022, they are still mostly managing to hold them off, but time continues to pass. Nagging injuries have plagued Nadal in recent years, and Djokovic isn't getting any younger. What will happen to the men's game when they finally do retire? be okay. The fifth edition of the Next Gen ATP Finals is set to take place in November of this year. Some of the best 21 and under players from around the world will gather in Milan to compete for the title. In anticipation of this, I've come up with my list of the top 10 21 or under players right now in 2022. Pretty self-explanatory, but everyone on this list has to be 21 or under. So this excludes Sebastian Corda and Felix Roger Aliassime, who unfortunately are too old for this list. This list is based on who I think has the most potential to be Grand Slam champion or world number one. I'm considering players' current rankings, ATP finals they've made, and ATP titles they have to their name. I will also look at top 10 wins they've recorded. At number 10 is the future star, Dominic Stricker. Aged only 19, his ranking is currently 126. There is a lot of expectations on Dominic. As well as being a junior slam winner, he's also Swiss. This country's extensive tennis history means there's pressure on success. His solid game has already been shown on tour though, with great straight set wins over Hercatch and Chilich in 2021. Expect more big wins from him too. So at number 9 is the determined 21-year-old Brandon Nakashima, currently ranked 63. Brandon has shone domestically in the World Team Tennis event for the Chicago Smash, as well as in the ATP Tour, reaching two finals in 2021. He holds notable wins over John Isner at the US Open and Shapovalov at Wimbledon. He is one of the shining prospects right now in American tennis. At number 8 is the Czech star Jiri Lehechka. Currently aged 20, Jiri is 59 in the world. Jiri gained popularity during his run in Rotterdam, where he beat Chapovalov, Van der Zanchuk, and Lorenzo Mosetti, before eventually falling to Sitzpass in the semi finals, although he did win the first set. For the time being, he has no ATP finals, but I'm sure that will change in the near future. Number 7 is the 5'7 clay court wizard Sebastian Baez. He is now 21 years old and ranked 32. His determination, tied with his diminutive stature, have made him a fan favourite. Coming from a history of great Argentinian players, he is the first person on this list to win an ATP event, which he captured this year in the Estrel Open. He also came close to beating Zverev in the most recent French Open, leading two sets to love before eventually losing. At number 6 is the next male British hope, Jack Draper. Jack is 20 and currently ranked 82 in the world. Although he hasn't made an ATP event final yet, he has started 2022 with a 24-3 record, winning four challenger events in four months. Damn. Jack will have pressure to make it far at Wimbledon throughout his career, but seems to have the game and mentality to do this. The Brit has also recorded four top 10 wins against Diego Schwartzman. Yannick Sinner and recently sits past and Monfils. Damn. This ultimately got him the number six spot. At number five is the Italian maestro Lorenzo Musetti. He is 20 years old and currently 30 in the world. A former junior world number one and junior Grand Slam winner, Musetti has a pedigree to make it very far in the pros. <laughs> With a beautiful one-handed backhand, he has entertained crowds throughout the early stages of his career. 
He holds notable wins over many top 10 players, including the amazing win he had this year for his maiden ATP title in Hamburg against Carlos Alcaraz. At number 4 is the dynamic American Jensen Brooksby, aged 21 and ranked 46. He, along with Korda and Nakashima, are the future superstars of the American game. Brooksby is an unconventional striker of the ball, but his consistency in long rallies, his ability to direct the ball and his pure tenacity have made him a potential slam winner. His brutal style was perfectly showcased in his effort against Zverev in Acapulco this year, where they ended up playing till 4.55am, which is an ATP record. However, Brooksby is held back somewhat <laughs> by the inefficiencies in his serve, even though he's 6 foot 4 in height. Despite this, Brooksby has already been to three ATP event finals and holds wins over many top 10 players. At number 3 is the Danish whiz kid Holger Rune. Holger is 19 and currently ranked 26. Like Musetti, Holger is a junior world number 1 and junior slam champ. From a young age, the Dane was marked out as a standout and potential future pro number 1, with his belief and competitiveness highlighted by top coaches. He has already shown his ability on the Grand Slam stage 2, making it to the quarterfinals of the French this year, beating Shapovalov and Tsitsipas along the way, but eventually losing to fellow Scandinavian Kaspar Ruud. Unfortunately though, this match did highlight his issues with his temperament. For now. For now. For now. He is young though, and this should improve over time. Regardless, his talent has led to him having a great run in Bavaria in 2022, beating Zverev in dominating fashion, 6-3, 6-2, and eventually winning his maiden title. Number 2 is a genuine prodigy, the heavy-hitting Italian Yannick Sinner. Yannick is 20 and amazingly number 10 in the world. Growing up, Yannick excelled in multiple sports. Up until 13, skiing and football took priority for Yannick until he decided to focus his energy on tennis. Now he's already one of the best in the world at 20 and he's only getting better. Part of the golden era of the men's game in Italy, he, Musetti and Berrettini lead the charge for a new men's Italian slam champion. Personally, I feel it's only a matter of time until Sinner wins one. He has already made it to the quarterfinals of three slams, showing his versatility on different surfaces. He has over 25 top 10 wins, many of which come in clinical fashion. He also has the most tournament wins of anyone on this list with six, with the majority coming in 2021. His lone tournament win in 2022 though, was recently in Croatia producing a spectacular comeback win against a spectacular player who we'll speak about shortly. I'm sure a lot of you were expecting this. And number one is one of the greatest talents we've seen in tennis for a long time, Carlos Alcaraz, aged 19 and already number four in the world, believe it or not. Throughout Carlos's short career, he's drawn comparisons with all of the top three, but obviously he has the most similarity with Nadal. Alcaraz has shown the ability to play at the highest level at such a young age and obviously both players are Spanish. Along with this, Carlos has shown the foot speed and acceleration reminiscent of a young Nadal as well as the tenacity and determination. Comparisons can be made between Carlos and Novak in terms of their backhands. Vamos. Carlos shows the ability to hit clean winners on this side but also shows great defence, particularly through sliding and utilising his flexibility to win points. <laughs> This makes it difficult to beat him even when he's on the back foot. Carlos's forehand has been compared to Federer's also, particularly on offense, allowing him to dictate rallies. This ability has led to him already having 11 top 10 wins and reaching 7 ATP finals, winning 5 of them. Although Sinner has won more titles, Carlos is younger and 2 of Carlos's titles are ATP 1000 events. If you don't know, these are the second most prestigious tournaments in men's tennis, just behind the four Grand Slams. Carlos's run in Madrid though was nothing short of spectacular. In this tournament, Carlos managed to beat both Nadal and Djokovic, incredibly both in three sets, showing his heart and determination. He eventually won the title by dismantling Zverev in straight sets in the final. Come on. 
Despite the high standard of the young players today, Alcaraz and Sinner are ahead of their competition, already securing over 10 titles between them. That's more than the rest of the list combined. The pair have already had three scintillating battles, with Sinner leading 2-1 currently. Over the next 10-15 years, these two will battle it out over tennis supremacy, and I can't wait to watch. Expect all of these other great young players to push for that number one spot too. There'll be fireworks for the future and the present. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pleasure to make. I'd like to finish off by saying that regardless of hype right now, nothing is set in stone for these players. They need to continue to stay dedicated to their goals, otherwise they'll be caught up by other improving players. Here's something that Nadal said a few years back when asked about Sinna and his rise. Thank you guys. Look out for the next video. Um, that's just a, a statistics and the only thing what matters is uh, how much he will be able to, to improve. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's the only thing that matters in this sport because you can remember a lot of good names that I will not name today or now for respect to them but with 18 years old had a lot of uh, good perspectives in the future and then never happened.